What's up guys, I'm doing another video. Hopefully you can hear me, um, cause my neighbor has its, her, his, her, whatever, lawnmower going. But I just wanted to show you. So we're, we're gonna be putting this engine together finally. Um, as you can see, the cylinder head's on, it's torqued down. But I did this. That's my valve cover there. You can see that it looks, I think it looks really nice. Uh, I painted it with engine paint and then just took a paint pen and did the uh, white lettering. I also got this uh, t uh, Toyota valve cap, the one that says Toyota in Japanese. Uh, valve, uh, or not valve cap, uh, oil cap off of a old 80 something Camry from a junkyard. So we have this, but today our main focus is putting the camshafts in, trying to see if we can do the timing. The timing isn't important to me at this current moment because I honestly have no idea how to do it. Um, he, the guy, if you see the last video, I'll do the guy printing me out the sheets and stuff. And now that I have like a better idea of the timing, but I'm still not like 100% you know, on it. So we're gonna have to figure that one out. but. I'm just gonna look at these and hope that I can understand. Sorry about the oil, that's just, you know, what happens. But, uh, yeah, so I have these timing sheets. We're just gonna try and figure this out. I have the camshafts, I have the service bolt in the cam, so we're just gonna pull these off, put the cams in, and hope that, uh, and I'm, like I said, I'm not super concerned about it. I'm just gonna turn the engine over with a, with a, uh, breaker bar, see if a valve hits a piston. If it doesn't, fantastic. If it does, it's not that great of a deal, I'm just going to put the engine back together and then I'm going to take it and have it timed.
all that work and it was wrong. I put the camshafts in to a timing mark that I thought was correct and didn't realize until after I put the distributor on. I was pretty far off by actually a long ways from what I thought was correct. I got the car outside in, in my driveway, pulled the cams out, put them back in, and did everything exactly right. And when I put the distributor in, sure enough, my timing mark was where it should have been. I put everything together and I didn't film because I was too into trying to get the car done to try and set up a camera and do it. But I finally, at the end of day, the day, right around four o'clock, where it's starting to have the sun go down, I turned the key and hoped that the car would actually start. Well guys, there it is. I have no idea how I did it. Still am trying to convince myself that I did actually just do that. I'm still in complete shock. Um, so anyways guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I did a lot. Um, just editing this and then doing this entire thing. Uh, yeah, so anyways guys, I really appreciate your support and uh, please leave a like down below and comment if you have any questions. I will uh, try and answer them as best as I can. And uh, also consider hitting that subscribe button and don't miss a video. So, yeah, anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I'm so glad to have my Paseo running again. You're going to see a lot more stuff on this video or on this channel about this car. So, anyways, guys, I hope you enjoy. Bye. Have a nice day.